Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, November 13th. It's a Saturday, and uh, we have professional development and collaborative planning and reflection today. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to all the teachers for your hard work this week. It's been a very tough week, of course, with the flooding, with the power cuts, with the disruptions, with the internet connectivity problems, not only for teachers, but also for many of our learners. And uh, the team has really pulled together well. We've kept the kids engaged and learning and uh, enjoying school during these rainy days. Uh, it's currently sunny outside. It was sunny yesterday as well, so hopefully we're through it. And we expect to be back to in-person school at the OP campus on Monday, Monday, November 15th. So hopefully things will get back to normal from Monday. Uh, just a quick health and safety update. Uh, the week before this week, that is the uh, week when of November 1st to the 3rd, when the uh, learners from grades 1 to 8 returned to school, it went well. We were impressed by the behavior and by the way the teachers were able to keep the kids safe and to give them good instructions and to follow all the COVID protocols. So. Uh, we're very happy about that and we're planning to um, have the kids from grades 1 to 8 uh, returning to school from Monday again. We are aware that there are a couple of cases of uh, COVID within the school community, but we're following all the protocols. Um, those families are being isolated and we're making sure that everybody at school is safe. Uh, just for a reminder, that from Monday we're going to try lunch for everybody, so hopefully that will work well. Of course, it means that we have to be very vigilant during lunch times. Uh, you'll be aware that there are schedules and we're trying to get the children in and out of the cafeteria quickly to reduce the risks and to make sure that there's enough space between learners as they're eating their lunch. So just a quick reminder from Monday, uh, high school, that's grades 9 to 12, will be coming to school every day. Uh, grades 4 to 8 will be coming on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And grades 1 to 3 are going to be um, in school on Tuesdays and Thursdays only. Uh, the buses are going to start again from December 7th for all students in grades 1 to 8. Of course, the buses are running already for teachers and high school students. Uh, we're going to bring the young learners in to the buses from December 7th and um, we're going to try having them seat two to a seat as per usual and of course they'll be wearing masks and teachers will be supervising them and uh, making sure that the safety protocols are being followed. Some important dates in November are, well of course today we have an open house. We have 81 registrations, that's a record number. Uh, we've got a busy admissions season ahead, we're sure. As we get back to school, we know that a lot of families, both in Chennai and who are relocating to Chennai, are very interested in KC High because they know the reputation we have for having excellent teachers. Uh, we have an ADA on Friday, November 26th, and then there's a folk art festival from November 16th to the 26th. And those of you who are planning ahead. Of course, you'll realize that we have a winter holiday coming up um, on de December 23rd. That's December 23rd through January 3rd after our winter fest. Um, for parents, teachers, students, and staff, we need to remind you, please, please, please be careful outside of school. Uh, we need everyone to wear masks and to social distance and to wash their hands frequently. And especially, we want everyone to avoid large public gatherings, to be careful, to minimize your risk, and not to go places where there are a lot of people, because COVID is still among us. Uh, you know, the question that everybody asks is, when can we get back to normal? When can we get back to full-time school? Well, of course, that depends on uh, us being smart and the state being smart and COVID continuing to decrease so that it's safe to return to school. So, you know, we're thinking January is the time 
that we will get back to Monday through Friday, regular in-person school for everybody and hopefully the pre-primary learners both at the OP campus and at the RR campus can return to school in January as well. We're not sure, it could be sooner, it could be later. It depends, it depends on the COVID numbers continuing to decrease in Tamil Nadu and it depends on us being safe and not having any outbreaks in school. Uh, okay, I think um, that's about it for me today. I just want to remind everybody uh, today's plan is available online. You could look for this document, November 13th, Virtual PD Plan. And then if you open up that document, you'll see all the activities and all the meetings that we have planned for today. Uh, of course, that includes a lot of vertical meetings and horizontal meetings and some professional development sessions. Uh, and as I said, I'm doing a virtual house along with the coordinators, a virtual open house along the, with the coordinators from 9.30, Maloney's there, Sindhu's there, etc. And, uh, you know, we hope you have a great day ahead. Um, thanks again for all your hard work, and uh, hopefully you'll get some rest tomorrow, and we'll get back to regular school on Monday.